On to our third pilot study group this morning, our teachers and researchers, with Bernie Brereton as the expert mentor. And again, the diversity in this is, uh, is illustrated by the fact that the 14 participants come from a wide range of institutes of technology and from universities. Bernie Brereton and team, you're very welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Bernie and this is my co-mentor Karen Dunn, so we work in Dundalk Institute of Technology, we're colleagues and friends and we work together and we brought the two pilot groups together, we called them teachers and researchers and what we tried to do was to look at the duality of our professional lives where we are working in the classroom but we're also reflecting on that, publishing on that, networking on that and so on. We had a fantastic experience, we had 21 people all together, both people who came every week to our two-hour sessions, our people who were engaged through the, the technological space. And what we decided to do was to record a short video uh, for the participants to, a few of the participants to tell us a little bit about their experience. So Karen and I would like you to enjoy the video. So I'm Bernie Burton and I work in the Centre for Learning and Teaching in Dundalk IT. And I'm Dahi Kearney and I'm a lecturer in music here at Dundalk IT. And I'm Karen Dunn and I'm a lecturer in vet nursing here at Dundalk IT. And we've been working with colleagues in the college and outside of the college in Trinity and UCD for the last three or four months on the professional development pilot project. We thought we'd take a little bit of time today and tell you about it. One of the things that I thought worked really well was the way in which we were able, as you were saying, Annalie, to take time to consider our professional development. Um, the acronym is often used is CPD, Continuous Professional Development, but how can it be continuous when you drop it and go back to it maybe once or every, twice every year when you go to conferences or something like that? So can we talk a little bit about our working process in that respect? So, through the National Forum Framework document, we have these four uh, typologies of professional development activities. The first one being the collaborative non-accredited, the second one being unstructured non-accredited, the third being structured non-accredited, and of course, finally, the last one, accredited, which is what we have in place with moment anyway. So just talk a little bit about how we sort of dipped in and out of those typologies and how they had to frame up what we did. I think it was very much part of the first meeting we had a kind of realisation that, you know what, we do an awful lot more than is recognised and we spend more time on it than is recognised. Mm -hmm. I know Karen, you talked about trying to kind of capture that time. Yeah, and you know, have these casual meetings, yeah. not, not yeah. recording them. And the, and the whole time we're engaging in learning from each other um, in a collaborative way, in a very unstructured way. And yes, many of us have engaged in the accredited, but I think it was a sense of realisation that sometimes we forget we actually spend more time and effort on this development of ourselves than yes. we realise. Yes. And perhaps that other re others might realise. Yeah. And learn from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's all the things that we do as well, that while we have these kind of collaborations between ourselves here on campus, we sometimes discount in a way the collaborations we have off campus in some respects as well, because we just think of them as conversations with friends or with peers about whether it be a research or teaching practice or all of these things and I think they're equally um, as valuable um, a source of kind of support and an ongoing kind of network and um, to help in our work um, as well. Um, I kind of always, I, I know personally I would talk to friends nearly every week about things that I would do in my teaching and they do the same with me and I think that's a very valuable kind of learning experience in itself and it's something that we don't ever count as part of. One of the things I really enjoyed was the way that we were scamping in our UCD and TCD partners in the, in the pilot group and we were getting the benefits of their expertise but also their experience. Karen and I, as you know, did one field trip out to UCD and we had a, a smaller meeting out there but it was really nice to hear, you know, as you mentioned, research and teaching, they may be in different proportions within the university structure as opposed to the RTI structures. But the pressures and the difficulties and the value systems are actually the same. I found it really learned a lot from that. Yeah, it's really interesting to see yeah. that. Yeah. Even though they have on paper less teaching hours, they still not have any more time to capture those sort of informal collaborations that go on yeah. all the time. That's right. But even over coffee, we forget we have 50 minutes at 11 o'clock for our official coffee break. But a lot of the time, I know from what I see, we talk to our friend, our colleague, about what we're doing. Yeah. We're sharing the same course. And 
he looked at the spare clock and said, oh God, I have time to go back. And we have done 50 minutes of collaboration between the two of us or three of us. And it's not a credit, it's not even, people don't even know about it. It's yeah. quite often where you have the discussion about the student who's doing the same topic or the same, or the same kind of degree program as someone mm. else, and you're kind of like, are they having an issue with this in your class? And it's all the informal kind of things which you learn so much about the kind of wider experience true. maybe from an individual student yeah. as well. Yeah. And I think one of the really valuable things about our pilot group has been the fact that we've had a, a portion of time set aside yeah. for some of this discussion and for some of this reflection because, again, some, one of the challenges we've all spoken about is that trying to find that time to, to meet with others. Yeah. And again, even across departments because, again, I come, I'm in a very different building to actually mm -hmm. everybody here, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but it's given me a new perspective on what happens elsewhere, even within this institute, yeah. and that's been fantastically yeah. valuable as well. Yeah.